Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, students, teachers. This morning, we are here to discuss which one of these nine countries will receive funding from the United Nations to support the sports. My group, of which consists of Brandon, Nicholas, Dominic, and I, Graham, will be, rep will be representatives of Sierra Leone. For over 300 years in Sierra Leone, Europeans plundered human resources by taking away able-bodied men and women for slavery. Civilized trade of human beings, however, was abolished in 1772. Sierra Leone's problems did not stop there. After Europeans took African territories for their own in 1885, they carved the Sierra Leone's cultures and kingdoms for themselves, not considering the, compa the, com the compatibility or traditions of the people. This is the foundation of most of Sierra Leone's current wars and conflicts. By the, close of the by the close of the 18th century, for 59 pounds of goods, the king of Sierra Leone at that time, King Nirvana, offered, um, offered three towns to be established as a British colony. The capital of Sierra Leone was thus founded. The British were still not satisfied with this, and realizing the great wealth of the interior, in 1896, proclaimed the authority over the entire region. Sierra Leone was under British colonial rule for over 150 years. Their colonial masters refashioned politics, education, and economics, and their rule soon became unbearable. Sierra Leone regained its independence in 1960. However, at the end of the 1960s, Sierra Leone began to deteriorate rather than improve it. Qualities such as hard work, honesty, and consideration for the wealth of others were replaced by qualities such as laziness, dishonesty, and selfishness. By 1978, the leaders wanted to enjoy enormous powers and so declared the, party of one, the country a one-party republic. And if you did not support the, this, this party, they employed many different methods to win you over, such as public beatings and executions. Diamonds were first discovered in the Congo district in 1930, with large-scale production beginning in 1935 with monopoly by the Sierra Leone Selection Trust. With time, one main factor emerged and caused widespread illicit mining and smuggling. This factor was that the diamonds were among the finest gemstones in the world and were extremely valuable relative to their size. These diamonds increased the level of greed in the country and so played a direct role in the 10 year long war. The value of conflict diamonds exported by the rough, the revolutionary United Front was es estimated at 20 to 70 million dollars a year. Furthermore, the miners were often attacked civilians to keep them away from the mines. Thank you. 
and it's a major issue for the government. <coughs> Likewise, in some of the countries in the Middle East. We could solve, we could, um, we could start a whole new conflict by trying to get rid of this government. Why do you think places like Egypt and Libya are in their current state today? Because they try to get rid of their government, their president, their leaders, and just corrupt their country even more and start a summer state as civil war. We need to think logically here, people. Which country will take the biggest step with the funding? Go on to help other countries. Make a difference. You have to start with one country and help lead the other countries to the top. And what's a better country than Sierra Leone? So why stop now? Why not make the success story a triumphant journey to the top? Why end the race when we just started? Now I would like to end with the four bank this time. The future depends on what we do with them. Sierra Leone needs your help, and I believe they'll be the best cause in the world. Please think about it. Thank you.